Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I will be teaching you how to play Mozart's Symphony No. 40 in G minor. The G minor scale is like this. And Mozart is going to use this scale to come up with this melody. So he's going to go to the 5th degree, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and he's going to use also the 6th, these two notes, and he's going to start like this. And we have quick note, slow note. Quick, slow, quick, slow, and we leap there. Okay, for now we're going to do it in four. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And because it's in cut time, we could do it in two beats. So we could do one, two, one, two. And we have the first melody. He wrote piano, so no need to be too heavy about it, and that's it. Now, because we play here, this interval, the B to D flat, if you flip them around, you have these two notes, and if you add one more note below, you have G, which is the G minor chord. So we're going to bring all this to the left hand here, and we're going to punch four chords of them. So we're going to do one, two, one, Two. And we could have a simplified version where we play that chord every time we play the D. So this, that means we could do this. Okay? And for now, to make it sound more musical, not because I'm going to use it all the time, I'm putting the pedal by chords. Even though I'm going to do it more detached eventually. So I could do the two things at once. Match here, pedal up down, up down, and that's it. Now we could do something a little bit more difficult on the left hand, which will be moving each note around. Okay, notice that we move here, I rotate a little bit from one key to another, and that's it. Now I could count this. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, or I could do one, two, one, two. Okay, this section we could do it now, but this is going to require a little bit more of hand coordination, so we could do this. And when we get here, we match, we match here here and here same thing now here and here and that's it okay i think we could do it a little bit quicker now and we end up with this okay now once you get to the top he's going to start descending there and he's going to use the same note so we're going to do this Okay, let's do it again. So B flat A G. I like four there. Three. All right. And notice that as we go passing here, we have the same intervals, G and B flat. Here we could have like a C minor, but still in G minor. And then yes, here we're gonna use a C minor chord there. So chords for this. You're gonna start with the same chord and you're gonna run this match match here but here we're gonna switch okay I'll do it one last time so match match and then it's gonna be a change of chord here but you could already play this together so if we do the left hand by itself Another one here, here, and then we have this one, which is low. It creates tension and it looks kind of odd like that, G and A and E flat. Now, if we change the, this note, we have this. And if we add the G, we have this. And this is called A minor 7 flat 5, this chord. If you take a look at the scale, there you have. 
have it, the two chord. So we went from the one chord to the two chord, but because the G minor is right there, he flipped this note and goes here and released the C. All right, he's gonna do two of this. All right, so let's do it now, slowly, and we're gonna work on splitting them. So let's say we have this, 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 and then we have the A minor seven flat five times when you do it together make sure you do it very slow and you can do it by group so one chord at a time try to match them so we start here we match here match match we play by itself match match and match here match match and that's it we could do another one of this but the next line is going to come in. All right. So what I'm going to do now is play these two phrases together with the chord simplify and then we'll do it matching very slow too. So we have this. There. There. So now let's do a split. And then you can see there that the next line is going to come in. Now let's go to the next line. So we have this now. Now notice that he uses the intervals that we used in the first line, we did this. Now he's using... Okay, and that's as far as we're gonna go. Now we're gonna do the chords. So we're gonna have two A minor 7 flat 5, which he did flipped right here. Two of those. Then we're gonna go here. Okay, and then you have to think it as a D7, so we're going to do this. Then you have the D, F sharp. That's the D7, and he's going to bring it all the way down here. Notice that it's the same sound, and then we're going to punch two of this. Okay, so we have... That's it. So we're going to put it together from before. The last note matches. Alright, now let's do it together. So we're going to have first the A minor 7 flat 5 like this. Here matches. Matches. By itself match, 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 match and then D7 match here. Well, we haven't done that yet. So let's play it together now, slowly, the way it's going to be. So we're going to do this movement. Together, together. Together, together, together. Together, together, and then F sharp. And then the next melody is going to come in. Now, let's try to do it, simplify all these parts, and then the other way around where we move the left hand. So we have. That's all there is. If you want to move it around with the left hand, a little bit more coordination there, we'll do this. And then we're going to change here. So let's continue and do that. So we're going to have the right hand here, there you see here the F sharp that I mentioned at the beginning from the scale. So we have 
F sharp. And notice that we use all those notes. The harmonic minor. Right? And sometimes you have the F natural there. It comes from the, you could do the melodic and the natural minor descending, so it changes a little bit the things there. So we have this melody, so descending. And I guess I do 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2. All right, so this note here, A, we started on a D7, so we can punch that. But now the next chord will be D7 also, but it's voice different. We have D, A, C, one, two times, and then G minor. Okay, so if I do this, now here, match here, match here, and here. All right, I hope you get that. And remember, they always match on the on the chord, so that's the simplest way to do it. Now we could split this, do the same pattern that we did before. A pedal, you could just pedal for now, just to feel more of the mood. I'm not so worried about it playing perfectly there. Now, when you do it together, same principles apply. You could do now here match. Much and much. Much, much and much. Much, much and much. And then it repeats here the same one. Alright, so maybe what I'll do next is play all of these sections simplify first so that you can have an idea and then play it together very slowly. So we'll start from here. Right, so now I'm gonna play it with the moving bass. So so I hope that gives you an idea on how to play it. Also, you could increment the speed and you will end up with this. So I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe. Also thank you very much and all my supporters from Patron and buy me a coffee.